Shut up and sit down. episode of more content talk that's the only show that cuts through the glam the glitz and all the bullshit to bring you the truthiest news that we can find well um marjorie taylor green um also known as uh, marjorie taylor green she fucked up didn't she Mm-mm-mm. man she fucked up she she uh messed up and said uh that Wearing a mask is akin to the Holocaust. She said that if you, having Americans put masks on their face is similar to putting uh, gold stars on Jewish people uh, during the Holocaust. And, and you know that they asked this crazy lady to apologize and she refused to apologize. She said, no, I'm not apologizing for a goddamn thing. I am an oppressed Jewish person. <laughs> that's that's. I, I told you before, white people, especially white conservatives, but, you know, the moderates, too. Whenever whenever they feel oppressed, they lose their minds. They, it's, it's, not, it's not like, you know, your normal run-of-the-mill oppression for these people. They have to, they get so dramatic. And, and that's why I thought it was funny for the longest times when, uh, you know, liberals and, you know, like me, people like me, were making comparison to the Trump administration and... Um, uh, how it was very similar to how Hitler came came to power, and we were making um, sourced points to to make this uh, point. We were we were citing our sources, doing everything we needed to do, but people still people freaked out, right? And they were like, "Y'all need to shut the fuck up, y'all liberals. Y'all liberals are, are the problem because you're always comparing Trump to to Nazism." And then the moment uh, Trump actually got into office, people realized that we were correct because he did. He did a lot of stuff that was was like the Nazis. And I've I uh, I did a whole episode on it, so I'm not going to I'm not going to go into it um, again. But I, what I'm doing is I'm using that to highlight the point that whenever people make valid criticisms in America, people say, well, Pasha, but if it's an invalid criticism, it's it's highly entertained. And. The reaction to Marjorie Taylor Greene by the Republican Party is completely fake, uh, because they all came out and condemned her. And were like, you, you, you know, you, you can't say that about the Jewish people. We love Jewish people, which is just—it's such a lie. I mean, like Rush Limbaugh. You remember Rush Limbaugh? Y'all have a man. Your memory sucks. Rush Limbaugh was all on the television every day talking shit about Jewish people. Okay. Jewish people and black people, those were his two main targets. And and do you know that when Rush Limbaugh died, it was like Elvis died on the right. You know, like that's their hero. They are John Wayne or some shit. And they were they were crying and sad and oh poor Rush. Oh poor Rush. But here this this crazy cracker ass white lady, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, came out and said the same shit. And they and they flipped out. And um all that is is sexism. You know, the, the women in the Republican Party cannot say the crazy ass shit. They have to appear um, to be docile and submissive. And um, it's interesting when that manifests itself in a, in a way that is uh, contrary to the Republican Party line. Um, because what, they, what they're really worried about is losing um, in the 2022 and, and 2024 elections. Because you don't understand. It's like I said, politics is a is a, you know seven day a week 24 hour a day occurrence it never stops people stop voting but voting is a very small part of the political process so they're very concerned now especially after she said that dumb shit that they're gonna lose some seats and also you know <laughs> it's worth noting that the donors in the republican party most of that money fucking went to trump most of the money that they need to campaign and all this stuff, a lot of it has gotten shoveled off to Trump. And on top of that, even if these motherfuckers do have money, Trump is talking shit. He's talking shit about Mitch McConnell. He's talking shit about Kevin McCarthy. 
he he's talking shit about all these fools and so all these fools seats are on the line so when marjorie taylor green came out and said that about the holocaust those white people were like whoa whoa, whoa we're trying to get elected uh you you can't say that right now you can say that at home but you can't say that shit right now and i i just thought it was so hypocritical because go, go on youtube and do a search and uh, find some of these stupid ass Republican shows. Like it doesn't matter if it's Ben Shapiro or um, you know they got this new guy out called Timothy Knowles. Timothy Knowles, um, I think that's his name. It, Timothy No or whatever, whatever the fuck. Is this white guy who who has this show? And it was hilarious because it was the same day that he was running ads talking about we're we're tired of of the left and their woke uh political dialogue calling everyone nazis and then marjorie taylor green's dumb ass came out the same day I, and i shit you not there were all kinds of ads and they took them down too because they were like oh shit we can't run this shit anymore but i know that timothy Knowles was like bitch you fucking my shit up i'm trying i'm trying to be the one who's calling liberals out for for calling people nazis you fucked it up so yeah, she did, and then doubled down on it too. She like, I ain't apologizing for shit. Fuck y'all. <laughs> and I'll tell you why she's like that is because that's that's her base. Her base, they watch this, these YouTube videos, where the right and and commentators on the right will openly compare the liberal party to Nazis, and they and they have done this for decades, and uh, they do it by um decrying socialism and and you have to remember that the the nazi party stole the socialist name and they call themselves the national socialists but you know republicans can't read so they think when they hear socialism they're thinking nazism that's what they actually believe and i you know i know it's not all republicans like but the vast majority of them and the one that uh, people like marjorie taylor green Rand paul all these motherfuckers are appealing to they're fucking nuts and they think that nazism is socialism so when they call someone a socialist they're just calling you a nazi and uh look at the alex jones videos and, and the steven crowder videos uh the old ones there's all kinds of comparisons to nazi germany in modern day america this is how they got barack obama out of office and that's why i will use the term nazi up and down to describe uh, republicans and and their agendas because all they did was run a massive propaganda campaign against Obama, and that's what won them the election. It's the only thing that won them the election, okay, was their massive propaganda campaign, their fear campaign. How did the Nazis come to power? They came to power with propaganda, and you, can, you cannot deny that, okay? And also, you, you remember that uh, when the Nazis tried to overthrow the government? Well, the Republicans did the exact same fucking thing. And, and I understand that the whole party wasn't in on it. I've, I've never claimed that. But I think that more people were in on it than are admitting to be in on it. And one of those um, dumb fucks the other day who was uh, he there's a picture of him. And he's block He's blockading the door. And then he turned around and it's a Republican and said, well, it's not that big a deal. We don't need we don't need any commission to investigate anything. And so you mean to tell me that that's not being complicit? That's not saying it's just fine to to commit coups? And and once you go down that road, you really are like the Nazis because that's how the Nazis took power. They they basically threw uh, a little coup, um, and uh, they got caught, and, and and Hitler even went to jail for it. You can look all this up. Hitler actually wrote Mein Kampf in jail. That book, the stupid ass book where he's ranting and raving about Jewish people, all these stupid conspiracy theories that, by the way, are still used widely in the Republican Party. And that's why I didn't understand. And I said it must be sexism because, and, and don't, don't get me wrong, I don't agree with Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think what she said was fucking dumb. But why can't she say it? Why, why is it that she has to shut the fuck up and not say that in public? But when they're on YouTube, they can make all kinds of accusations. It's all white men, by the way. All, all, all these YouTube commentators are white men. Apart from, uh, I guess, like, I don't know, like, Lauren Southern. Um, and <laughs> but all the rest of them are white men. You know, I mean, like, and so all they ever do is come out and talk about how liberals are Nazis. And they, it's like I said... They've been doing this since the Obama administration. They they compared uh, Barack Obama to Hitler on multiple occasions. There were pictures of um, 
what you call it, uh, Barack Obama with the Hitler mustache. Um, they compared him to all kinds of dictators and said he was doing all the things that Hitler were, were, was doing and that the country was going the route of Nazi Germany and that they were going to come and take your guns from you and there were going to be all kinds of arrests. And they were even talking about um, political assassinations. I remember back in the days of the New World Order conspiracy theories and the FEMA camps, they, that was a big thing on the right. And, and it was all over the right. OK, it was not just a few nuts. And this is what Republicans watch when they go on YouTube. OK, they're not watching channels like mine and they're not watching DIY, whatever the fuck. All right. Or ASMR or whatever the hell you want to call it. What they are watching are these political commentators who are specifically comparing liberals to dictators and so they came out and they said the quiet part out loud this this lady this crazy ass crackhead lady margarine taylor green said the quiet part out loud and so they had to come in and tell her to shut the fuck up and put her in her place and then she was like fuck y'all so i don't know we'll see where that goes hey i i i love it i like watching republicans fight y'all want to fight go ahead and fight it makes you look stupid it makes you lose elections so keep fighting each other you know tucker is going after kevin mccarthy and kevin mccarthy is going after marjorie taylor green and marjorie taylor green is going after everyone she's taking the whole ship down with her and keep it up y'all doing great make my job easy i don't even have to say shit i <laughs> I thought this was going to be hard, Republicans. You you ain't putting up nothing. Every time you come out with a good point, there's a dumbass counterpoint. There's like 50 dumbass counterpoints. And your party supports the dumbass counterpoints. There ain't no sensible Republicans left. This is, this is some bullshit, okay? That's, that's just how it goes. All right, everyone. Uh, you have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, siesta, what have you. Um... You can follow us at More Content Talk on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. You can also uh, follow us uh, my Twitter account, which I broke my silence on. I took a week off or something like that. And I just told a whole bunch of jokes. whole bunch of jokes. Got white people mad. They were unfollowing me left and right. <laughs> it was funny, though, because whenever someone would unfollow me after I tell... Because I tell, they were all jokes about white people. Because you know y'all taking away all black people's rights, so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a tough time. And you know that's that that's the way it has to be. We have to go back to the to the Paul Mooney way, because white people think now that that black people don't deserve rights. You know they they're taking away our rights left and right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mock y'all, and I did it hard on Twitter. I I didn't pull no punches, and but it was funny because every time someone would unfollow me when I told a white person joke, obviously a white person who you know they can't take. They can't take a joke, so unfollow unfollow me. But then someone would follow me as soon as as soon as I was unfollowed. Someone followed, so it, it I was at four thirty four, and it was like four thirty four, four thirty three, four thirty four, four thirty three every show, <laughs> and it just hovered around that. I didn't stay and look. Uh, I mean, because I don't give a fuck how many followers I have. This this is just for for the listener. If you want to go online, you want some extra material. Some jokes that I tell go on my Twitter account. If you want, if, if you want, um, I don't know, you want me to act like some kind of uh, house nigga. I mean, you know, and, and not say the shit that I want to say. Don't go to my Twitter account. You know, keep keep scrolling, cause I I ain't no house nigga. All right, I'm gonna make fun of white people when they fuck up. That's that's the reason that white people hate black people so much in the first place is because we're not quiet when y'all fuck up. Y'all fuck up. I know. I know. Back in the day. You know, there there was probably some slaves who was like, you know, Massa may be tripped and be like, <laughs> look at Massa, look at look at that dumbass, <laughs> and that that infuriates white people. You're supposed to respect us. I don't I don't have to respect shit. Fuck you. All right, uh, <laughs> it's my Twitter account, bitch. All right, um, have a wonderful evening, day, afternoon, siesta, and remember, when life gets you down, you could always laugh at something else. Peace out, y'all. I'm <laughs> sorry.